Have you ever had a close friend completely betray you on purpose? Someone that you loved and you cared for? I want you to imagine that you're Jesus, and in the moment that he gets arrested, Judas betrays him with a kiss on the cheek, and the rest of the disciples end up running for their lives, abandoning Jesus, just like he prophesied that they would. No one was there to defend him as they spit on him, mocked him, and punched him in the face while they dragged him before the Pharisees. Imagine as Jesus stands before Pilate, having to remain silent, not speaking one word in his own defense, as these same people are yelling and screaming to crucify him. How would you feel knowing that you were about to die for those who treated you this way? Now imagine the punishment before the cross. You were stripped of your clothes, chained to a column, and scourged with a whip known as a flagellum, which contained many thongs or strands, each with pieces of bone or metal attached to them. You were whipped over and over again, with no minimum or maximum amounts of times allotted to the punishment, suffering excruciating pain as the skin and the muscles of your back, sides, and stomach are ripped off pieces at a time with no mercy. Imagine feeling the pain of the flesh of your back being completely exposed as the Roman soldiers place a heavy robe over you and smash a crown of thorns into your skull. As Jesus, you are now completely unrecognizable. Imagine someone that you love dearly being beaten so badly that you wouldn't even know it was them. How would you feel? Now having all this done to you, you are now forced to carry a cross over your shoulders that weighs 80 to 110 pounds for a distance of over six football fields, only receiving help once your body cannot physically hold it up any longer. Imagine laying down on the cross as the Roman soldiers take nails over five inches in length and drive them through your wrists and your feet. As the cross is placed in an upright position, you hang by your own weight for six hours as you try to desperately take breaths of air. Can you imagine this type of pain and suffering? Now as hard as this may be to listen to, I want you to pay close attention to what I say next. Imagine a pivotal moment in your life when you experienced unfairness, betrayal, or enormous pain because of something that happened to you that was outside of your control. Imagine Jesus standing there with you as you get angry and you tell him how horrible this situation was and that there's no way that you could possibly forgive this person for the pain that they've caused you. And just then in that moment, you turn to Jesus, look him directly in his eyes and say, I'm sorry, Jesus, I can't forgive them. Your blood wasn't enough. Most of us could never imagine saying something like that to Jesus' face. But in essence, this is what we do every single day that goes by that we choose not to forgive.